and welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at a video of practicing balancing equations. If you need help with balancing equations, check out the link in the description box below. Here are some basic balancing equation tips. First of all, always count how many, how many of each element you have on each side of the arrow first. If you have group ions and they are present on each side of the arrow without changing, then count them as groups rather than individual elements. When it comes to balancing, balance in the order of metals first, non-metals, then carbon, oxygen and hydrogen. If you have any threes present, it's best to try and get rid of these, usually by doubling. This is because most other things exist as singles or pairs. For combustion of hydrocarbons, balance them in alphabetical order of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, leaving the hydrocarbon that you're dealing with as one mole. Let's have a look at a practice example. Start by writing the elements symbols underneath the arrow. We're going to keep the NO3 as a group because it does not change on either side. You then count up how many of each element you have. At this point we need to check for balance. We check the metals first and they're already balanced. So then we have a look at the non-metals and group ions. Here we have three nitrates on the left and two on the right. So if we double the AlNO3, then this gets rid of the three. This now gives us two aluminiums and six nitrates. We can balance the aluminium with a two and then balance the nitrates with a three. This now leaves us with three calciums. Finally check that all elements have balanced. Pause the video now and try and balance these equations.
thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.